What's going on guys? Shadow Hollow here. Welcome to my channel. So recently I've been having conversations with people talking about all the games that they're currently playing. There's a lot of good games that have released this year alone and we're still at the beginning of it. A lot of people have moved on to games like The Division 2, Apex Legends, Kingdom Hearts, etc. And when they ask me what games I currently play, I tell them that I also play games like Apex Legends, but I also have been playing a lot more Monster Hunter World which their response to that is usually, oh, I haven't played that in a while or I need to get back on that. And I believe what they're saying here is true and I would encourage everyone that's watching this to also start playing again if you have not done so or is already not doing so. Now, I know a lot of people are just waiting for Iceborne to release, but there's actually a specific reason why I'm playing a lot now besides the fact that I'm a fan of the series. Heck, I've been playing since Monster Hunter 2 back when it was on the PSP. And Monster Hunter World is just simply a fun game to play. When Iceborne released, needless to say, there's going to be a lot new content coming. We already see Capcom is finishing the design contest for Iceborne where they would take one weapon design and one pellicle weapon and armor set from the community and design it for use within Iceborne. If you want to check out all the final designs, I will put a link in the description. There are some pretty cool designs that people have come up with, so I would definitely check those out if you have not done so. Other than that, we should be getting a new story master rank where monsters like the Anginath may be getting new weapons and armor that will look better than the current ones. And they may also bring back subspecies. If you don't know what subspecies are, uh, basically it was the same monster but it would at least have a different attack pattern or it might be even a different color. And the weapons and armor for it will also be a different color or a different design or something like that. And of course there will be new monsters. We're already expecting Nargakuga due to the hint that Capcom gave us at the end of the trailer for Iceborne. If you don't know who Nargakuga is by now, he was the flagship monster for Monster Hunter Unite. It has black fur and red eyes, which is why we believe that it's Nargakuga at the end of the trailer for Iceborne. Uh, Nargakuga usually is very, very super fast. Uh, can't be trapped with pitfalls unless it's in rage mode and is weak to sonic bombs. At least that was the case in previous Monster Hunters, but I expect it will be the same in Monster Hunter World as well. But with all the new stuff that's coming, now is a good time to build up my collection, which means you can also do the same. These new armors will most likely need gems, so I will make sure that I do all the limited bounties right now so I can stack up on gold Wyverian prints. Uh, of course, we're gonna need to upgrade them, so I'm gonna need to stack up on armor spears so I can have just a stack of those just ready to go when Iceborne releases. If Nargakuga is still weak to sonic bombs, I will need to load up on those too. Stacking up on Mega Demon drugs, Mega Armor skins, and Dash Juice wouldn't be a bad idea right now too. I mean, these monsters are expected to be tough, so we might find ourselves needing as much attack and defense as possible. I did do a guide on this on how you can keep a constant supply of these, so if you have not watched that video, I will put a link down in the description. Definitely go check that out. But I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea by now. You can use this time to build your collection, finish armor sets that you want to complete, Collect stream stones and get gems so you can augment your weapons. Iceborne is on his way guys and it's not a bad idea right now to prepare for its arrival. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. I just give you an idea of what you can be doing right now and uh, to encourage people who don't feel like there's anything to do on Monster Hunter or whatever the case may be or who are just waiting for Iceborne to release. Those are some things that you can do right now. But that is all from me, guys. With all that's been said and done, I will now take my leave. But until next time, just remember that I am nothing more than a figment of your imagination. Or am I? I am Shadow Hollow. Fading out, and I will see you guys in the next video.